Hey guys, hope you all are doing good, healthy, and trying to keep yourself away from the coronavirus. If you remember my previous video, which was around the impact of the current lockdowns on the environment, after posting that video, I had an opportunity to debate on a relevant topic, whether climate change is anthropogenic or it is natural. For the ones who don't know the meaning of anthropogenic, it means the environmental pollution and pollutants originating through human-based activities. Now, the current uh, geological age we are living in, it is called the Anthropocene. And it is uh, viewed as the period during which human activity has been the dominant influence on the climate and the environment. This is what is believed by most of the scientists, environmentalists, alarmist and the mainstream media. This video is made up with the purpose of sharing some highlights from the ongoing debate in between these two communities. One which believes that climate change is anthropogenic and the another one which believes that it is totally a natural cycle. So let's explore what type of debate usually happens around this topic. Start. Hi, this is Ankit Patel and I'm on the side of anthropogenic climate change so I'm going to talk about it and this is Hola and Girls this is Dr. Ankitino and I'm here to unlock your minds towards the natural causes of climate change Wait, you are neither a PhD nor a scientist and not even a medical professional, then how could you call yourself a doctor that to pull out by some Spanish name like Anquitino? First of all, that's none of your business. And secondly, my friends call me doctor because they know I have equivalent knowledge of doctors and scientists. And I love soccer. I'm a good player as well as I love watching soccer, so I have named myself Anquitino after the great soccer player, Ronaldinho. <laughs> oh great, then you must be able to share some of your expert knowledge around the uh, climate change and especially about the anthropogenic side of it. You alarmist people are never going to stop, aren't you? You started calling it global warming, then give it a name climate change and now you have given it a fancy name like Anthropocene or Anthropogenic Climate Change. Why don't you guys understand that this is a natural phenomenon and it has least to do with us as humans. It is the nature itself which plays this game since ages. Well, that's true. That's true actually. Uh, over the course of the Earth's 4.5 billion year old history, the climate has changed a lot. But uh, the rapid warming we are seeing now cannot be explained by the natural cycles of warming and cooling. The kind of changes that would normally happen over hundreds of uh, thousands of uh, years are happening just in decades. Uh, the global temperatures are now at their highest since records begin. In fact, 17 of the 18 warmest years on the record have all taken place uh, since 2001. That, which means, I mean, that to just happen in just two decades. You know what? People really need to be cautious of such claims as the hottest year ever or the hottest decade ever. As a matter of fact, it's only been 300 years since the great scientist Fahrenheit invented thermometer, which is a drop in the bucket compared to the 4.5 billion year old history of Earth. So, people need to actually think a bit when confronted with the outlandish claims of gloom and doom being trumpeted by the press and the politicians. Be aware that both of those entities, means press and the politicians, are in reality not at all concerned about the climate change. 
the simply see it as the see every crisis as a lever to give more power to a socialist government, preferably a global government that will control everything and decide what us, what we can and can't do and what liberties we should have. So for them, it's not about the climate, but it's more about replacing the capitalism. Okay, let's accept that for a while. But what about the greenhouse gas emissions? Since the industrial revolution, there has been aggressively increasing levels of carbon dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, methane, and other such gas emissions, which uh, has a significant uh, role in increasing the global temperatures. Do you know the fact that plants and trees need carbon dioxide? CO2 is not pollution, it is actually a plant food and satellite evidence shows that the earth becomes greener as CO2 levels rise. The amount of CO2 produced and consumed by nature itself is way higher than what human activities produce. Let's be clear here. The CO2 itself does not cause any problems. Yes, that's right. It is the part of the natural uh, global ecosystem. But what uh, causes problem is the quantity of CO2 that is being produced by us as humans. There hasn't been this level of CO2 in the atmosphere for 800,000 years. What nature produces is consumed by nature itself. But what is produced by the nature, uh, human activities is what causing the problems. Plus, we are also affecting the natural ecosystem by deforestation, mainly uh, to produce the food we eat. This is really stupid. Really stupid, I'm telling you. You people have invented a region by the name of climate change. You know what? Humans seem to be born with a need for religion. They need to feel guilty, be challenged, to make sacrifices, submit to higher authorities, and join groups united for common good. They feel better than those who don't join them. With all the scientific enlightenment of the past century, Many left traditional religions, but they, they have now flocked to the new ones, including the climate alarmism. If this is nonsense, then why there is a large community of scientists and environmentalists doing so much of research on this topic? Plus, why are the politicians, United Nations and socialists are trying so much, are putting so much efforts to spread the awareness about this crisis. Well, uh, different people have different reasons. There is an institutional push towards the climate change for funding purposes. Individual scientists have their own career concerns. There have been professors losing tenure over bucking the consensus and also there are those who have become millionaires by promoting it. The, politi the political angle is called socialism. They see the solution as a method to impose their political beliefs. And then there is always a bunch of sheep. The blah blah black sheep. Well, I agree with you on the statements. But I don't think scientists would mislead the entire world on such a serious topic. Well, if you remember my friend, there is a popular quote. It is difficult to get a man to understand something when his salary depends on him not understanding it. This really has a very deep meaning. Try to understand it. It seems like you are suffering from atherosclerotic brain damage from years of eating meat, dairy products and eggs. I know you won't agree. But the animal agriculture industry is one of the leading drivers of in human induced climate change, deforestation, uh, water depletion, species extinction, and the world hunger. In short, our entire planet is being eaten in front of our eyes. And it sounds like you must be benefiting from 
the undeniable power of an extra chromosome, yeah? Listen guys, I don't have much time today and I'm already learning late for my soccer practice. So basically, I'm leaving now. Oh wait, just answer my last question. Why are you wearing this uh, cap and now you're also wearing sunglasses? Well, as per your parent mindset, you can assume that I'm wearing this to save myself from the so-called global warming. <laughs> Alright guys, goodbye, see you. This was it guys. Whenever you see both of these communities d debating on this topic, you'll see this type of or a similar type of dialogues going on in between them. This is actually a very lengthy topic, so we cannot cover the entire topic, all the aspects, all the points, all the discussions in just a short video. So let's just continue the debate into the uh, comment sections below. Just uh, I request you to share your valuable uh, feedback, comments, uh, your inputs about this topic into the comment sections below so that we can con continue the debate. Last but not the least. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below and also don't forget to click on the bell sign icon so that whenever we post a new video you instantly get the notification. That's all from RM. Take care. Bye bye. See you in the next video of Advex Floris.